the best way to explain time really is about understanding the self even more. We would see time as linear and we think like, oh, I'm going through time, but that's not actually the case. Time is going through us. We use time to go through different realities. Like manifestation is like gravity. It's always on. It's not like, oh, I'm going to manifest now, but later I'm not. Like we're literally going through billions of realities a second and what we essentially need to do is steer that into the realities that we want to experience the way we do that is through our beliefs it's not our thoughts that's necessarily creating our reality it's our beliefs our beliefs use thoughts to create reality the focus and the concentration is always on self-esteem because when you have your self-esteem that's your beliefs that's what will be manifested in your reality the only reason that we think time is linear that kind of moves forward is because of where we live we live on a planet that spins and because the planet spins and there's a star that we've called the sun for us the it's like oh it's morning it's afternoon evening we've got daytime and nighttime so there's this kind of like element or let's say illusion of there is time and it's moving forward and i can tell that from the sun now if you didn't live on a planet that spins if our planet didn't spin which we know that things out there in the universe doesn't spin like our moon doesn't spin it goes around the earth but it doesn't spin and if earth in spin and let's say the sun was constantly always out there would never ever be a today or a tomorrow ever there would never ever be like oh one day or the next and you go okay well we have clocks a seconds we have 60 seconds in a minute 60 minutes in an hour 24 hours in a day yep the clock the second if we take it down to the second it is based on the atom that's why it's called the atomic clock there's uh i think it's protons that move in certain type of atoms and we decided to make the second based on the proton the speed of the proton moving in the most common atom which we thought okay that's what we're going to base a second on so the length of a second is actually based on reality and how something is moving in an atom nothing to do with time at all will you think okay well there's a past and there's a future how does that work i know what i did yesterday even though yesterday isn't yesterday but even if it was there's a past and the future so okay any reference that you would have to the past if you would say to me i did this in the past or if you were to remember the past any sort of reference you have to the past is a thought same about the future let's meet up at starbucks or whatever at seven o'clock i'll meet you there at this time on tuesday or whatever every single thought and reference or anything is about the future as a thought now if you simply don't have those thoughts the past and the future don't exist it's only this moment it's like well okay i'm 39 years old i've been alive for the duration of the t of time that it's taken the earth to go around the sun 39 times but if i was born in the same moment that i was and instead of being on Earth, I was in a spaceship going through space. Up until this point, how old would I be? Uh, I, I don't know. It's like, okay, so everything that we are referencing is a result of time is actually a result of something in reality that we are measuring that against so none of that actually has to do with time so it's like, okay, well, how does that work? We're still going, uh, I'm still going through time. I've grown up. So I was a child and now I'm an adult. So something's happened. I've moved forward. The ship of Theseus. I don't know if anyone's heard of that. If you have, you'll know that the ship of Theseus, it's a wooden ship. The wood has rot all over it. And the idea and the thought is that if someone was to start replacing the rotted wood from one end to the ship and replace every single piece of wood to the other end of the ship, would it still be the same ship? And the answer is no. You know, a lot of people argue that it's yes and no, and that's okay as well. Your cells, we know, change all the time. And every seven years, all of our cells change. This is not the same hand as when I was five years old. This is a completely different hand. I could still have some scars on this hand, but it's still a different hand because all my cells have changed. So it's not me growing, it's me changing. I'm not going through time. Time is going through me. The present moment, which is the only thing that exists, and this is why you're here, only the present moment exists, is constantly changing. I'm not growing. 
I'm constantly changing. If I don't think about the past, the past doesn't exist. If I don't think about the future, the future doesn't exist. This is why when we meditate, we sit and we try to observe all of our thoughts so we can detach from them and then be present. By being present, you're in the now. When you detach from all thoughts, you don't go in the past and the future. You are in the now. Time is what we use to go through different realities. Time, the way we see it, which is like the clock on the wall and everything in seconds and hours and days are all based off things that we are measuring against in the 3D reality.